All right. Shalom Akim. Ka halayim la. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Baha Raka Kwadash. Double honors to my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone who rule well for teaching me the truth. And salutation to you. Akim out there in the four corners, laboring in his truth and pushing with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Uh, also to you, confusion face brothers who don't look like your average. Everyday so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, but you're Israelites according to the Bible. And to you, I salute. I say shalom. Uh, this is the brother Kai High here with GMS Charlotte, man. And I just want to go into this quick little video, man. Just through the spirit, Lord willing to be edifying through uh, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. You know, going into how um, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta bear the indignation of Yahweh Hashem Shai, all right? Because the whole nation of Israel went off, all right, collectively, all right, as a group. You know, you, you had the saying in the world called one rotten apple spoils the whole bunch. And to, in, in the spiritual sense, that's true. Okay, because Yahweh Shema Shai gave us the law, statutes, and commandments to abide by them so that way we can live forever. And um, uh, we broke them, man. Because if you break one, you're going to break the other one and the next one and the next one, man. All right? So the whole nation of Israel went off. So um, I just wanted to go into how we're going to, um, how we got to, uh, uh, and bear the indignation, bear the um the anger of Yahweh Shimon Shah. All right, this is the book of Micah. Uh, this is the book of Micah, chapter seven, verse nine. It says, "I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh, because I have sinned against Him, until He plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold His righteousness." Yes, says, "I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh, because I have sinned against Him." And like I was um going into man. Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that right, we sinned against Yahweh Hashem Shah. How do we do that? We broke His law, statutes, and commandments, man. Matter of fact, let me get that in Deuteronomy, the twenty-eighth chapter. All right, talking about how um, how uh, all the curses fell upon us because we didn't abide by the law, man. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start at verse um I'm gonna start. I'm starting at verse 14. It says, And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. All right. And that's what Jake did. Are right, you so called Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, man? We went after other gods, man. You know, the gods of the heathen, man. Those gods are no gods because there's only there's only one power, man. The word God means power. It goes back to the Hebrew word Allah. All right, it means power. And there's only one power in the whole entire universe, man. And that's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? It says, And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day. Yeah, talk going into the commandments, man. All right? We're not supposed to depart from them. All right? But it says, um, verse 15, it says, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, to observe, to do all his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay, and if you read on down, man, it just, it just goes into a bunch of curses, man. All right, and that's all the curses happened because we didn't hearken unto you. How about How was shy? All right, so we got to bear the indignation. The word indignation goes back to the Hebrew word, if I'm not mistaken, it's a uh, kwatazap, which means um, uh, uh, righteous, righteous anger, man, righteous uh, wrath, judgment, man. Okay, anger. All right. And so we got to bear that indignation, man. Let me go into that word uh, bear right quick. You know, I'm gonna just get in the blue letter just for the sake of edif uh, edification, uh, not blue letter, the um the Marion Webster. OK, it says to accept or endure something to be worthy of something to deserve or allow. All right. That, that sounds like patience right there, man. We got to be patient in the Lord's wrath and fury against the nation of Israel because we sinned against him. And that's what the prophet Michael was saying. Now like he says he's going to accept, he's going to endure the indignation, the righteous wrath of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right, it says to assume or accept something such as cost or responsibility. You know, because our main responsibility, uh, like you know, I mean, yeah, it was it was our duty to uh, to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, but we failed at that. Now it's our responsibility. To um to 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 endure the indignation of Yahweh Hashem Al Shah, all right. And if you you just if you can't take it, if you in this truth, man, because that's what the elect is doing, man. You know what I'm saying? Through the Spirit, Lord willing, we be those men. We bearing that indignation of the Lord, man. Okay, so that way we can um we can get saved, man. So we can get delivered in the first go round, man. All right. So that's why we 
we we um we suffering uh the wrath that Yahweh Hashem has brought upon us. Okay, it says, "I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against Him." And we all know sin is transgressing of the law. It says, "Until He plead my cause and execute judgment for me, He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold His righteousness." Yeah, till He plead our cause, man. Till He um, till He uh, till He Yahweh Hashem get us um out of here, man. Talk, uh, going into the elect. Right, because the elect is the ones, the ones of forty-four thousand to one third is gonna get out on the first go round. Okay, that's why we uh we bearing his wrath and indignation, you know, so we we can uh so our cause can be pled, man. Okay, so the Lord can um can get us out of this hellhole, man, because we serving our, our enemies right now. You saw the so-called white man, all right, the so-called China man, and all the rest of the nations under the sun. But primarily, primarily, it's Esau the so-called white man, okay. It says he will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. And that light is talking about this wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. All right, because this is the light. You know, the law, statutes, and commandments, the understanding of the word of Yahabashim Yahusha, the holy scriptures. Okay? Because he Yahabashim Yahusha is bringing us forth to the light. And that light also represents Yahusha. You know, because when Yahusha came back, he was he was called um the light of the world, man. Okay, he still is the light of the world. I did a video on that, um, I think last week, you know. But um, yeah, man, uh, Yahab Hashem brought us brought us forth to the light, to the truth, man. All right, we woke up to the fact that we Israelites. We woke up to the name, the true, true name of Yahab Hashem Shai, so that way we can call upon him for our salvation, as the scriptures say. Okay, and we're gonna behold his righteousness, man. All right, we're we gonna see we're gonna see the Lord's righteousness. We're gonna see his righteous judgments. Okay, the Lord is the Lord is fair, man. Okay. But right now we just gotta bear his indignation. You know? The Yahweh Shem um cursed Israel, man. Because well, we we scattered right now. Um us being the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, and we're about to see why the Lord did that. This is the Baruch, this is the book of Baruch, chapter four, verse six. It says, you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because he moved Yahabashim Hausha to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. Okay? And if you read all the accounts throughout the scriptures, a, um, a good example of that is the book of Judges. All right, because Yahabashim Hausha set up um uh leaders and judges over the nation of Israel. All right, every time um Jake went off and went into captivity, the Lord would set up a judge to um to 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 uh, deliver Israel out of the hands of the um, out of the um hands of our enemies, okay? And they would judge Israel, telling them not to do it again through the spirit of power of Yahabashim Yahusha. And Jake would go off all over again, man. You know, like niggas, man. That's why we in a predicament that we in, okay? That's why we were sold to the nations. That's why we got brothers that look like heathen, okay? The confusion of faith, brothers, man. All right, but Yahabashim Yahusha said he didn't uh give us to the nations. For our destruction, it says because ye moved Yahabashim Yahusha to wrath. Yeah, man, we moved the Lord to wrath, to anger, to jealousy. The scriptures ask you, um, are we stronger than God? Do we provoke him to um jealousy? Hell no, we're not stronger than Yahabashim Yahusha. But that's the mentality of two thirds of our people. Because they was in that mentality back then, and they ain't, uh, they in that mentality now, man. All right, they are rebellious, all right, they are uh, uh, sinful, all right, they're full of sin. Okay, and they think they're stronger than Yahab Hashim and Hawasha, so they're gonna keep provoking him to wrath. And the only cure for these niggas is death, man. Alright, but the elect, Lord willing, we be those men. Alright. We we trying to we trying to get on the good side, man. We're trying to cop a plea with Yahab Hashim and Hawasha, so to speak. Alright. We're trying to um um uh, uh go back to the father, man. Alright. We're trying to um we we begging the Lord for mercy. Okay, we've, we've received that mercy through Yahweh Shah, who was the perfect lamb. Okay? But Yahweh Shem Shah didn't give us uh, to the hand of our enemies for our destruction because Yahweh Shem Shah said, I will not utterly destroy the house of Israel. Okay? As the scriptures say, you know, we, we moved the Lord to wrath, man, to jealousy, to anger, to fury, man. You know? Let me get this just to further sh uh, stretch the point. In the book of Isaiah, chapter um, chapter fifty nine, I'm gonna start at verse one. It says, "Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, 
neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Yeah, man, going out to the nation of Israel. Yahweh Shem HaShah's uh, hand is not shortened, man, because in that hand is talking about the prophets, okay? Talking about the um the, the word of the Lord through the prophets. That's how Yahweh Shem HaShah is straight, uh, um, uh, stretching out his hand to you, okay? To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans so you can repent, okay? And there's prophets all over the world, man. You know, if you if you if you try to tell you how about Shemal Shah that you didn't uh know that you was an Israelite or that you couldn't see the prophets in the time of judgment, man, then you 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 a you a fucking liar, man. Okay? It says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. All right, so we we receiving um grace and mercy right now. So we're gonna get right. That's why we came up to the elders and the apostles or any brother. Uh, um, 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 in GMS or teaching the name Yahabashim Yahawashah, it says, Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. All right, Yahabashim Yahawashah, here's our prayers, man. Okay, you praying to the Lord in all righteousness and sincerity, man. The Lord gonna hear you. All right, but at first, that starts with knowing the name. Okay, verse two, and here's the point it says, But your iniquities have separated between you and your power. And your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. All right, I'm going to read it again. It says, but your iniquities going into uh, sins and wickedness have separated between you and your power. Because you got to think about it, man. Yahweh Shema Shah is all righteous. All right? And he is. Yahweh Shema Shah is righteousness, man. Okay? And the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah gave us the law, statutes, and commandments to abide by them. All right? So that way we wouldn't be full of sin and iniquities and wickedness. Okay? But because we committed different types of abominations, all right, whether it's worshiping other gods, popping another man's woman, all right, spiritual fornication and uh, fornication and adultery, eating abominable foods, all right, killing each other, okay, that separated us between, uh, that separated us from Yahabashim Yahawashah, and we didn't have a mediator at the time, okay, and the Lord is not, hey, the Lord is not a man that he shall lie, so the Lord was going to get rid of the nation of Israel, man. Because we were separated from him. The Lord wasn't, there was a point in time where the Lord wasn't dealing with us. You know? But the Lord kept his promise with, um, and when I say not dealing with us, that just means, uh, I, that just means he turned his back on us, all right, by putting us into slavery under our enemies, okay? But uh, uh, he came back to us through through Yahawashah, okay? It was, we were separated from the Lord at a time. It says, and your sins have hid his face from you. That he will not hear. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, again, going into the curses. That's why the Lord sent curses upon us. That's why the Lord put us in the hands of our enemies. That they may slay us, man. All right? Because of our iniquities and our transgressions against him. You know? You got to accept that, man. We got to bear that indignation. All right? Um, I'm going to just read verse 3. Uh, it says, uh, For your hands are defiled with blood. And your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue hath muttered perverseness. Yeah, man. All types of wickedness, man. All right. That uh, the nation of Israel, you talk about Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have done against you. How about Shimi Hawashah? Uh, you just completely forgot the Lord. You know, you just said, oh, forget. Uh, 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 you just cast the law, statutes, and commandments behind your backs, man. Okay. Our hands are defiled with blood, man. We got blood on our hands, man. So, uh, these false prophets and so on and so forth. All right. We are full of sin, man. You know, but that's why we got Yahweh Shah, whose blood is renewed um, every day. You know what I'm saying? To um to uh for us to, you know what I'm saying, be in peace with Yahweh, uh, with the most high Yahweh, with the Father. Our uh, Yahweh Shah is the mediator, you know. But Jake is defiled with blood right now, man. Okay. So um let me get this next scripture. And it's um this is probably going to be my last scripture, man, just through the spirit. I just want to make this a, a quick little video, man. Just going into how, you know what I'm saying? We got a better indignation. Salakia. We got a better indignation of Yahweh Shimi Hawashai, man. All right? And yeah, he's he's chastening us now, but guess what, man? It's all through the spirit. All right? We're we supposed to receive this because we went the hell off. Okay? Um, This is the book of Hebrews chapter 12. Verse 11, it says, Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Okay? So the chastening from the Lord that we're receiving now, man, you know, it, it's, it's not fun. 
okay? Because, Jay, hey, we in debt, man. We got to pay bills. We uh, got to pay child support. You know, we can't enjoy our children. Jake plants something. He can't enjoy it, okay? And so on and so forth, man. Jake is, hey, we under curses, man. Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, okay? It says, now no chastening, which means correction, for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Yeah, man, that's why we continue to bear the indignation and the wrath. Salaki, of Yahab, Hashem, Because what? We're going to receive, we're going to be able to, um, by that, we're going to be exercising our righteousness unto the Lord, man. All right, we got to show the Lord that we're worthy, man. And we all, we all fell short of the glory, man. The whole nation of Israel as a whole, man. Okay, but the elect is uh, um, uh, uh, coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments, man. And we're going to do right, Lord willing, widows, man. We're going to do right by Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai, man. All right, the scriptures talk about the um, the the uh, the two most important commandments in the book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 30. Love the Lord with all our mind, strength, our body, and spirit, man. And love your neighbor as you would love yourself, man. Okay? Because by that, we exercise in the righteousness and doing the, all the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, man. Keeping the Sabbath, the Passover, okay? And so on and so forth. You know, because the Lord is going to uh, reward us, man. Okay? That's, um, so so we, we can be at peace with Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh All right? But the hell that we catching now, man? No, it's not joyous, man. But we do rejoice in it because we know that the Lord is dealing with us in, uh, this chapter right here, it's a beautiful chapter, man. Well, I can got the time to read it. It's a real heavy chapter, man, talking about chastisement, you know? Yahweh Hashem is dealing with us as sons, man, okay? That's why we got to we gotta bear the, um, the, uh, the anger, the wrath, okay? Because the Lord is, he's refining his men, you know, trying them, bringing us through the furnace of affliction, okay? So that we, so that way we may come out as, as pure gold, man, okay? And so on and so forth. But um, with uh, with that being said, man, Lord willing, Akim was edified. You know what I'm saying, hey brothers, just continue to just continue to lift your head up, man. You know, Yahab Hashem is not going to tempt us above what we can handle. Okay, what does the scripture say? So with that being said, man, just keep your head up, man. You know, call Halayim La Yahab Hashem Hey, be strong, Yahab Hashem Shalom.